Okay, this is, I can never do this. It's like, it's like an awkward hand job. It's just like, I keep going like this and nothing happens. <laughs> it's like, after a while, you just have to be like, I don't, this is broken, you do it. I mean, uh, anyway. Yeah. Oh boy. So, a little bit about Gray Griffin. Um, I talk about myself in the third person. Um, no, I'm married, I have three kids. It's amazing that I have three kids too because I had like tons of fertility problems. Um, the reason is because my husband uses a vape pen and I guess apparently when a man vapes, it can cause extreme vaginal dryness. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it was so bad. We actually had to use a surrogate for our last one, and um, she's only one year old, so people always think, like, I just had a baby, and people are always like, oh, my God, you look pretty good for just having a baby. <laughs> and I don't really even correct them, because I feel like that just perfectly sums up my body type, like, pretty good for just having a baby, you know? <laughs> just, I probably should work out some more. I would. I totally would work out if I, if I didn't have um, such a cute face. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, my husband keeps threatening to divorce me just because I don't want to move during sex. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's uh, our, our oldest kid is just a real mess, you guys. Like, he's so dumb. Um, he, 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 <laughs> he really, I, there's something wrong. Um, we actually just recently bought him one of those race car beds like that guy sleeps in. <laughs> we just kind of wanted to get him used to the idea of sleeping in his car later. Um, <laughs> I also think he might have scoliosis. I mean, you know, call it a hunch, but, um, uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, he, uh, he, it was, so, you know how the dumber somebody is, like, the sweeter they are? Like, he's so sweet, you guys. Oh, my God. He asked me to marry him the other day. <laughs> I was like, oh, baby, you can't marry your mom. That just, that just can never happen. I mean, for one thing, you're never going to make enough money. <laughs> yeah, he started crying. He was all upset. He was like, so you're saying that nobody's ever going to want to spend their life with me? And I was like, Maybe. Mm -hmm. If you can do something about that heinous lisp. Mm. Yeah. He, he put high heels on our dog. I was, we, have, we have the most adorable dog. She's a pit bull. Um, her name is Babyface. <laughs> we named after her favorite snack. Um, yeah. But he put high heels on her, and I was like, you never, ever put high heels on that dog. Do you know why? Because bitches be tripping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. But you know it's true. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, <laughs> thank you, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah, I just... Uh, for a long time, I thought I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, but my kids are always there. Um, <laughs> You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child, but I can't find the village. Like, where is it? Um, you know, I, I take my kids to the park a lot because it's kind of easy to pretend like you're paying attention, you know? Just like, if you just look up from your phone every 20 minutes and you're just like, careful, buddy. <laughs> you know. I think I, it's because I, I drink a lot. You know, like, well, some people, some people parent, you know, some people, like, dance like no one's watching, but I parent like no one's watching. Um, it's because I'm just always drinking. Um, <laughs> I, I took my kids to, to Disneyland last week, and my, and my, my daughter saw uh, Captain Hook, and she was like, Oh, my gosh, Mom, look, it's Captain Morgan! <laughs> I was raised by my little 92-year-old grandmother, so, like, I mean, you know, she was just this little Mexican lady, and so she didn't really pay attention to rules at all. Like, I just did whatever I wanted to. I mean, she cared about rules, but, like, fashion rules, you know? <laughs> she was just like, Mijita, put some earrings on! Put some lipstick on! Do something with yourself! Some high heels! Who's gonna want you? I was seven. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, she, uh, 
she 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 used to she she loved like fail you know failure with everybody else like she just loved when bad things happened to other people like my grandma just like lived for that she was like especially people in our family oh my god she was so competitive and just like hey, loved tragedy to befall other relatives <laughs> one day she called me like all excited she was like oh yeah your cousin Eligio is going to Yale isn't that wonderful and I was like. Yeah, but why are you so happy? Because you're usually really mad when good things happen to people. Then I realized that my cousin Alihio wasn't going to Yale. He was going to jail. <laughs> and she just had a really thick accent. Um, <laughs> she used to always say, like, you got to live every day like it's your last. Which I think is why I'm just super depressed all the time. <laughs> I've been cutting myself. I mean, not, not like anything major, but just like my bangs and stuff. <laughs> Sad. Sad. I just feel like I'm, you know, because I'm getting older, I just feel like I'm kind of falling apart, you know? I just like, I just recently bought a selfie stick. Not, not to take selfies, but just like to read my text messages. I'm like, what? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, when you really like get really down on yourself and just like you're having a pity party, nothing really puts things into perspective like, you know, volunteering, you know, doing something good for the community. Like I, I volunteer at this nursing home, which just, it's just really puts things into perspective because I'm easily the hottest piece of ass in that place, you know. <laughs> like top three, top three. <laughs> there are a couple physical therapists that I'm like, mm. um, but yeah. <laughs> I worked with some at-risk youth, you know, and that was like, for a second, I thought, like, this was good for my self-esteem, because this one guy was like, oh, miss, you're 44? Man, you don't look 44 at all. And I was like, I don't? Oh, my God. Like, how old did you think I was? And he was like, man, I don't know, like, 41? <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. go to jail. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't think my husband gives me enough attention, you know, like, he's like one of those people who texts back just the letter K, like, not, like, all right, or okay, or just, like, K. And what I learned about people who do that is that those people are just super busy being assholes. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's, uh, I almost didn't even go out with him when he first asked me because he was always on his bike, and I was like, oh, God, no. He's like one of those healthy people. Uh. <laughs> but it turned out he just had a DUI, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were so many red flags. Like, when I look back, just, like, so many red flags. But I think I just kind of found it festive. I was like, what? Oh, my goodness, what's going on over here? Is there, like, a sale on emotionally unavailable dickheads? Or what's happening? <laughs> Got to get in on that. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> this gentleman keeps saying he can't stop laughing. I think we should just get married. <laughs> Are you flirting with me? Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he, uh, he, you know, people think, you know, because he had a DUI that he's an alcoholic, but he's, he's not an alcoholic. He just has like really terrible social anxiety. Um, does anybody have social anxiety? Okay, no, you don't. If you even thought about raising your hand, you do not have social anxiety. You're safe, ma'am. You're safe. Um, no, it's like so bad. Like we can't even have anybody drop by. Like you know, people just like drop by visitors. No, mm -mm. he can't even hear a knock knock joke. I'm like knock knock, and instead of saying who's there, he just like lays down and hides behind our couch until I go away. <laughs> yeah, and I just love people. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this little true story that happened at the Sherman Oaks Galleria. Um, <laughs> I just I kind of collect weirdos. Like they just love me. You know, I have like a little nut beacon on my head that's just like talk to me. I'm, I, <laughs> I have like a ton of friends that I don't even like. I just kind of collected them along the way. Like they struck up a conversation once and then I just couldn't quite shake them. But um, anyway, they're all here tonight. Hello. Um, <laughs> I need audience members. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm, um, I was, I had been traveling and you know how things just don't move along very nicely when you're traveling. So I went to Trader Joe's and got some fiber pills and I took one and then that didn't work. It was like mushrooms. It's like, I don't feel anything. And so I took another one. <laughs> And then I took another one. And then I was at the Sherman Oaks Gallery. I was like, oh my God, I've got to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom. Thank goodness there was nobody in there. And I'm like, oh, thank God, nobody. And um, so I'm in there and I'm just like, oh God. And um, all of a sudden somebody comes in and I'm like, oh shit. And I'm like, but it's a good bath. It's a big bathroom. Like they're not going to, I mean, you know, it's still 
nope, the lady, it's this ancient woman who just like, you know, wheel, walkers herself all the way over to like right next to me. And I'm like, oh God, please, no, just let her be done. And, but instead of being done, she decided, um, I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden I hear, hi. <laughs> and I was like, hi. And she was like, what you doing? I was like, I'm just, I'm just having a little trouble over here. It's just because just I'm just trying to poop, I guess. I don't know. And she goes, do you mind? I'm on the phone. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. True story. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. Greg Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. Uh, time to